Coach, can you just first give us some thoughts about uh, you guys went into Princeton and got the split last weekend. You probably would have liked to come away with two wins, but uh, just take some positives that you can take away from that weekend. Well, I think we played very well throughout the course of the weekend. Uh, the absence of, of finishing quality scoring opportunities, their goaltender played very well. Uh, we played played solid in the first night. We came out and played extremely well throughout the, the entire game. The second night, we outchanced them, doubled up in chances. Um, had a couple of unfortunate bounces, which put us uh, behind the eight ball, and um, and we came out on the wrong side of it. But overall, you know, very pleased with how we played going into the weekend, um, into a, a tough barn, a tough building to play in, and a Princeton team. Quite honestly, that you know they took Clarkson overtime the weekend before, who's the number two team in the country. Um, their record doesn't necessarily indicate what kind of team they are. They work very hard and they're very well coached. Uh, Julian McKinnon starting to starting to score more. She scored four straight games. Danielle Gagne, she uh, she's starting to score more. You got you get your first goal from Ali Tar, who was your leading scorer last year. Um, what does that do for you as a team when you you get scoring from sort of all over, just not only from the top ends with Semenza and Kiel and Langen and those girls? Well, you know, I think we talked about it throughout the course of the year. I know that outside of our program, a lot of question marks with regards to who's going to do the scoring in the absence of some players that we lost. Um, and we had a lot of confidence coming into the year that we we're going to be able to manufacture the, the right amount of goals in order to give us opportunities in every game. Now, with regards to Julia and, and Danielle putting pucks home, you know, they've done that throughout their career. Um, I think that if they can continue on that trend, um, got Allie off the schneid a little bit. She had a couple of uh, couple of goals that maybe were credited to other, other girls. Um, but again, you know, she, she put one home, which was very important. Um, I think it offers you an, ad, an advantage from a, a matchup perspective because if you have balance scoring throughout your lineup, it gives you the opportunity to, you know, to try and create matchups that are in your favor. And when all, all three, four lines are producing offensively, that gives you, a, I think it gives you a distinct advantage. You guys heading to Minnesota State this weekend, take on the Mavericks. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about their team? They're uh, d doing a little better than years past this year. Um, just go over that matchup and what will be some of the keys to the series this weekend? Well, they're an extremely hardworking, competitive team. Uh, Lauren Smith is as good as any player in the country. Um, she, she battles and competes. She can put the puck in the net. Uh, so it'll be imperative for our, us to keep an, an eye on her. Um, they play very hard, very stingy. Um, they're going to be in their own building, which again, going on the road and playing in our league, in WCHA, you know, you got to bring your your battle gear and ready to compete. Um, they're very good on the power play, <clears throat> so we need to make sure that we're prepared for that, um, and we need to mount our our attack on our own and try and put them on their heels. But they uh, they compete hard, and and we expect to be ready for a battle. Thank you, Coach. Thanks.